Hey there, meteorologist Adam Stiles. We're just checking in right now with uh, what's going on conditions-wise here in Toronto. And heavy ice pellets are already starting to fall. You can see accumulation filling in back in behind me. Even the roadways, they've got a coating of ice. We had a little bit of freezing rain, and then we've added the slushy ice pellets on top of it. It's going to make for some very tricky travel conditions here throughout, throughout the rest of the afternoon. And then tomorrow, another risk of some freezing rain coming our way. You can see it is ice pellets as it's all bouncing off of my head here. But uh, tricky to get around. Wouldn't you say so, sir? Yeah, he says so. That's, uh, it's not nice to be out here. And we're going to see more moisture getting ready to feed into this system throughout the evening hours. And as we head in through the overnight, that's when we're going to get into some of the heaviest accumulation of this. And could you imagine having to shovel 10 centimeters of heavy wet ice pellets? That looks like that'll be a possibility here for parts of the GTA. So anybody that is head heading out, you got to be prepared for very slippery conditions. I'm almost losing my footing as we're walking here. Uh, I can feel my feet just sort of sliding. I've got some pretty grippy boots, but uh, a lot of the roadways, they are covered. Uh, this side road here that I'm on is not quite treated just yet, but I don't know how much the salt is going to do when you're talking about ice pellets accumulating. A lot of the times you're going to need plows to clear that out because it's not going to melt as fast as what a snowflake would falling on a salted or treated road. So be prepared. Again, it's going to get it worse as we go through the rest of the afternoon. Throughout the evening, we'll catch a little bit of a lull overnight. But then during the day tomorrow, freezing rain is going to return to the area and continue with these relatively dangerous conditions. And then we're also going to see the wind picking up, gusting to 70 kilometers per hour. That's what we're worried about when ice and stuff gets on trees like that. And then that wind goes, those branches, they have a tendency to uh, come down. And that's when we start to lose power. So there is a little bit of ice forming on some of these trees here. I'm gonna see if we can get it into the shot in just a second. This tree branch, there's just a couple of little bands of ice that are sticking out. So again, something to keep an eye on. Well, I'm gonna keep you updated throughout the rest of the day here on citynews.ca, on our social media channels. And uh, we'll have the full forecast at six tonight, and of course at 11 o'clock, so we'll see you then.